Uh, all this silly psychotic gibberish done from G-Man has had one positive result for me at least. I now know about the Geek Room. It's a wonderful podcast. Please subscribe. Do yourself a favor. But, unfortunately, I almost had a fucking anger stroke because of this one thing I'm going to play for you. It's something that fundies do all the time and it drives me fucking crazy. Here we go. I mean, the war is related. Let's go. Well, let's just get, just real quick, guys. I don't want to get away from Kate's question. Um, what was your question again, Kate? It, it was what God actually has against homosexuality. I mean, why is it a problem? Well, I mean, I think it's, it's the same thing he would have against pedophilia. It's the game. It's... Okay. The Fundy's argument against homosexuality is so fucking weak. They have to go to pedophilia. They have to... Once the focus is on their argument, they have to divert it to something else. My response is, if God does exist and he gave us the ability, the need, the desire for love, to love and be loved, it's pretty fucking stupid of him if he does, if he has objections to homosexuality to suddenly say, hey, wait a second, even though I'm an all-knowing being and I gave you this compulsion and you find love and you are loved by someone of the same sex, I'm now going to object. When the fundies bring this up, they're basically pointing out how stupid their God is, if he exists. My other point is, A is A. A is not B, C, D, E, F, or G. A is fucking A. A homosexual person is a homosexual person. A pedophile is something completely fucking different. One is not the same as the other. To lump them together is to prove how weak their fucking arguments are. They want people to believe this shit. Not because it's true, but because their arguments is that fucking weak. Also, I, I object to the fact that people who are in love, people who are looking for love, was consenting adults. Consenting adults. Adults are now supposed to, thanks to these fundies, turn to the person they love and say, oh, we got to end it because of a book written by Bronze Age nitwits who didn't know where the sun went at night, who thought curing leprosy involved dove's blood. I, I, I'm glad I was, even though I have issues learning, I'm glad I was never so indoctrinated that my disability was so great that I ever fell, fell for this stupid bullshit. I was a deist for years because of my love of mental gymnastics, but that's as far as I ever went. It's the same thing he would have against uh, right, you bestiality. Use this, though, if you to continue to, well, to I mean, compare I mean, the two. Pedophilia is pedophilia and reality are, are gonna, not consensual. Gonna, and uh, one could easily say that pedophilia is harmful. So, 
I mean, well, uh, but, but, but homosexuality tends to be consensual, God, and the people well, engaging in it tend to have a certain amount of a good time. So well, I don't think... Exactly. But because it makes some people upset and nervous that because the they're dealing with their own feelings that they don't want to acknowledge, this is a good hook to draw people in. Christians have a trouble having people agree with what they love, you know, drawing people in with love. But you give them something to hate, oh, wow, they come in. Religion's good at that. They talk about love, but it's the hate that draws the people in. It's the hate that draws the real believers in. And when that gets exposed... Oh no, we're all about love and caring. They talk about how when somebody's gay that they run the higher chance of suicide. When Bruce Jenner became Caitlyn Jenner. Oh no, he's going to commit suicide. He's now more likely to do that. They always omit the fact that the reason why a lot of people do commit suicide is because they were pushed into it because of the religious zeal of others. Because of the homophobia of others. People just mind their own fucking business. The suicide rate would be down dramatically. I can go on and on and on, but... I don't know how much more of this footage I can use without having a copyright strike. So, until next time, goodbye. This has been Gary Wishon, the disgruntled heathen.